How to Stop Breastfeeding Powered by Discover Parenting It's up to you and your baby to decide when you want to finish breastfeeding. But it is important to stop breastfeeding gradually, otherwise it may disturb your baby and affects the routine of your baby. How long to breastfeed? You should breastfeed your baby exclusively, give them breast milk only, for the first six months of their life. And from six months babies should start eating solid foods as well as being breastfed for up to two years or longer. Breastfeeding protects your baby from infections and there's some evidence that it helps with the digestion of your baby's first solid foods. It also continues to provide the balance of nutrients your baby needs. Stop breastfeeding gradually. There's no right or wrong way to stop breastfeeding. For lots of mothers and babies, stopping breastfeeding happens gradually as the child grows and eats more solid foods. It's important that solid food should not simply replace breast milk. There's evidence that breast milk may play a part in helping a baby's digestive system to deal with their first solids. Once they're eating solids, your baby will still need to have breast milk or formula as their main drink up to at least their first birthday. Cow's milk is not suitable as a main drink for babies under one year old, although it can be added to foods such as mashed potatoes. Carrying on breastfeeding while giving your baby some formula can work very well. Babies breastfeed for comfort as well as food. Phasing out breastfeeding gently will give you both time to get used to the idea. Stopping gradually will also help prevent problems like overfull, hard, engorged, breasts, and mastitis. How to stop breastfeeding? You'll probably find it easiest to drop one feed at a time. It does not matter which feed you drop first, so it will usually be a case of how it fits in with your life. For example, some mothers may prefer to continue night feeds so their baby can still have the comfort at night. If your baby is younger than one year, you'll need to replace the dropped breastfeed with a formula feed from a bottle or, if they're over six months, a cup or beaker, instead. If your child is over one year and having a variety of foods and drinks, they will not need a replacement feed. Once you and your baby are settled into a pattern of having one less breastfeed, you can then think about dropping another feed. Completely stopping breastfeeding can take anything from a few weeks to several months. If you're trying to stop breastfeeding and having problems, you can get help and ideas from a health visitor or a breastfeeding specialist. Combining breast milk and formula milk. Some women decide to combine breastfeeding and bottle feeding with formula milk rather than stopping breastfeeding completely. If you want to do this, it's best to wait until your milk supply is fully established. This can take around six to eight weeks. You can start by replacing one of your baby's regular daily breastfeeds with a bottle, or, if your baby is over six months, a cup or beaker of formula instead. Please like and subscribe for more and hit the bell icon.